Hi, I'm George Pearson, and these are just a few examples from some of the training videos I have here on YouTube. Now, when you're working with the training, following along the training, if you want to get the materials I used in the training, just go to the description down below and click on the link that's at the top of the description, and this will take you to a page where you can download the materials. Please subscribe, click the like button, and of course, always share on Facebook, Twitter, or wherever. I really appreciate that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with the video. In this video, we'll be doing this Christmas card here where you can place a picture in there for baby's first Christmas or the name first Christmas or change it around to have something else, a pet in here possibly, whatever you like. This little, little frame for a picture is what we're doing. And this is made up of three pictures. Let me just bring up our photo bin down here. First picture is of the child right there. Second picture is our frame. And the third picture is just a snapshot I took off of my Christmas tree several years ago. And we did a little bit of work on that to make it look better. So there we go, there's the basic look. Okay, let's go ahead and start this project. I'm going to close that one. And then we'll start with a brand new file here, file new, blank file. And I'll set this at the default Photoshop Elements size, 6 by 4, 300 resolution, and choose OK. There we go. I now take my original image here. I'll just drag this in just like that. And so it's not quite the right size, so I need to resize this a little bit. I'll just pull it into the corners. There we go. And we'll need to extend this just a bit to make it fit, but I'll stretch that after we take care of the Santa down here. So I'm going to be removing the Santa. And it's actually the hardest part of the whole process is taking Santa out of this and putting him over here. We'll then stretch the background picture, get rid of the Santa space that was left behind, put in our frame and so forth. All right, start off by just making a copy of this layer. And then I'll hide that original just in case we need to go back and make any fixes. I'm just going to call this one original. There we are. Just double click on that and make it a name. Okay, let's now go up to this layer and we'll take out the Santa out of this layer. I'm just going to dock that right there and let's zoom in a little bit on Santa. And all it does is pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Let's go up here and grab our lasso tools and I'll grab the polygonal lasso tool, my personal favorite. And I'm just going to go around the edge here of Santa and of course up the edge of this cord here and down. And I'll zoom in one more notch, make this easy to do. And I'll start down here. And I'll do a little bit of this first so you can see what I'm doing. I'll then pause the video, finish off the selection off screen or off camera, and then I'll bring it back up again as soon as that's done so you don't have to watch me do the whole thing. Basically with this tool you click and you can then pull the line out to the next point and click. So it's simply a matter of following along on the edge and clicking to get that edge. Now notice down below on the tool options I have the feathering set at one pixel. That's kind of standard for me and that just just barely softens up the edge and does a little better job. Okay so this is all I'll be just going to be going around like this and making a selection around the Santa. Nice careful selection. So I'll pause now. I'll pause the video. I'll finish this selection and as soon as it's done I'll bring the video back up again. Okay there we go. There's the selection. Now to move the image up and down while you're making this selection just hold the space bar down and you can then grab the picture and move it let go and then continue on making your selection. So I went clear up along the edge of this cord up here, clear on the top there, back down this side, and clear around there. So you have a nice nice selection in here. Clear down to the feet. Okay, now let's get him off onto a separate layer. So I'll do layer new, layer via copy, and it gives us a new layer right there with the Santa on the new layer. Okay, now we can hide that layer. Let's just name this one Santa. There we go. Back to our layer one copy. And we'll zoom out just a little bit here. 
Now I need to get rid of Santa on this layer. He's no longer needed. And we'll just do some fast clone stamping in here. Here's my clone stamp. I'll bring the size up a little bit. Notice I have a soft edge on that. I'm using a soft edge brush. And I'm just going to grab some stuff and then just kind of come in and move in some of this in here. Let me just get rid of that. There we go. Luckily with this kind of a, a tree look, you don't need to be that careful. It's going to pretty well disguise itself unless you do anything that's just obviously a duplication. Use the Alt key to choose your clone from spot and then move over and clone in. And that's why I just get rid of that Santa just like that. Okay, Santa is now gone. Let's get rid of the cord in here. That's pretty easy to do. There we go. All right, that's all nice and cleaned up. Okay, now this layer, as you can see here, of course, is too skinny. So I'll grab the side here and I'll just pull this over a bit. Don't worry about that. That's going to be in behind our picture. That doesn't matter. And choose OK. So there's our resized image. And then bring our Santa back on top. We now can take the Santa, go to the Santa layer here. You can then move them over here. So we can now position Santa anywhere we want him. So it gives us some nice flexibility in here on our design. He's kind of separate now from the background. And I'll just put him right there for right now. That should be pretty good. Okay, now the green in here is not that exciting. I want to bring the greens up and I'll bring the Santa values up as well. Let's do that with adjustment layers. So I'll go up here to layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation, and where it says use previous layer to create clipping mask, check that and choose OK. What that does is it links that into the layer just underneath. In this case, this is going to be acting just on the green layer. And I'll pull the saturation up a bit like that and just make those greens a lot brighter. There we go. So I kind of freshen the tree up there. That looks good. I'm doing 54, but you know whatever looks good visually for you, that's fine. Close that out. Same thing for Santa, but on a separate layer because he probably has a slightly different adjustment. So layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation. Again, make sure that, that checkbox is checked. Choose OK, and same thing, I'll bring the saturation up. Don't go too far because it gets you know neon glow happening in there, but enough just to brighten his suit up. There we go. It looks like about 30 is about right. 30, 32, I think. 30 looks nice. I'm just going to type in 30 to get it exact. OK, Santa looks good. We'll close that down. So they did take different settings. The background and Santa took different settings. OK, the background's done. We now can bring in the picture of our kid. We want them basically on top of or in front of this ornament right here. Let's go to our photo bin. I'll grab this picture here. Go to the background, just drag him on top. And close that out. I'm done with that. So here he is. And that's too big. So need to bring his size down. Just grab the corner here and pull him in like that. And oh, about like that looks pretty good. We can always resize him later, but it'll be about about that size, I think. I'll choose OK. We'll readjust once we get the next layer in. So back to the photo bin, and that's this frame here. Drag that on top and close that. Now it's too big, obviously, so let's just find the corner. There it is, or you can see it better over here. Just pull that in. And I want it going off the top and off the bottom a little bit. Somewhere around in here looks pretty good. Maybe showing just a little bit of that edge over there. And that's nice. And the kid's looking pretty good. That's pretty close. I want him up a bit higher so his hat's cut off. I want to see some of the outfit down here. That's nice. Okay, now we have this, this kid in here. And we have that picture showing him behind. You can see that right down there. That's kind of a problem. And it's showing up here. So I want to take this rectangular picture and put it into this circular area, circular frame. Easy to do. Go up to our layer 2. This is our frame. I'm going to just name this one frame. And I'll stop calling him. I'll call him child here. There you go. A little more polite. So go to the frame layer. Go to the magic wand. 
and make sure that contiguous is selected. That means touching. And then click in the middle area of the frame, which is in here. And that gives me this selection right there that matches the middle of the frame. Let's come now down to the child level right here. And then click on this button here. This is the add layer mask. What that does is it makes a layer mask, circular layer mask, which matches the circle of that and clips off that background. If I hide the frame, you can see now that he's in a circle. There we go. Actually, right on top of that ornament. That's kind of fun. So there it is, right inside that circle. And it's an exact match. If you want to be a little bit nicer about this, I'll make this a little bit larger here. We'll expand that just a little bit so that he overlaps on the edge. Now you can do that with a fun little filter. Make sure that you're on the layer mask side. Look for the light blue outline right there. There you go. Go up here to Filter and Other. And there's a maximum filter and a minimum filter. These allow you to grow or shrink images. Let's do the maximum first. And if you watch where this edge is, if I bring this in, look how the white gets larger and the black gets smaller. I'm actually moving the white over a little bit. If we zoom out just a little bit, you can see that better. I'm actually making the circle larger by adding in the radius. This is what we want to do on this image. I want to bring it in just a few pixels, maybe just like five pixels in here. So I'll type, type in five. So it expands that white circle by five pixels, which will make it come in behind the fringe. So there's just a little five pixel overlap now in here. Makes it just a little bit cleaner for us. And that was the maximum. If you, if you wanted to make your selection smaller, then you'd use the other side, and that's the other minimum, and that will then make the mask, the white part of the mask, smaller if you need that. So maximum and minimum, real nice for expanding or contracting a layer mask, but it, it does it evenly clear around the whole edge. In this case, it works out really nicely for this particular use. So there goes kind of expanded that. Okay, so our child is good, our frame is good. Santa is not quite right. Let's go over here to the Santa layer. I'm going to pull him over just a little bit. Kind of put him right there. I think looks better on the image. A little better balance. Last thing. Need some text in here, obviously. Let's go to our type tool. Now the color that I've selected in here is right there. It's a CMYK yellow. I chose that because it tends to print just a little bit more accurately if you're printing. So this may not print well Green is going to print out just awful. Great on the screen, lousy for print. I kind of like actually the green in this image, green text. But if you're printing it, this wouldn't work for you. So I went for this yellow and the CMYK, a little better rendition on that. I'm using Comic Sans Bold. And it's centered. Now let's click right up here someplace. And we'll type in babies and choose OK. Now, it came way down here at the bottom. Let's just pull this up to the top. There we go. And the type is too big, and I got a capital on there where I needed a lowercase. Let's just fix that. And let's bring our type size down. Let's bring down about 36. Let's see how that goes. We'll adjust this if we need to. Let's just get the text in here first. Okay. There we go. Put my insertion point after the S. Type in babies for his Christmas. Let's now adjust everything. So select all the text. I'll make this left justified and letting down here it says 72. Let's change this to auto and see how it looks. It's a little, a little far out. I'm going to go to 36 to match the size of the text. And that looks pretty good. So here's our baby's first Christmas right in here someplace. I think that's kind of nice, just like that. And now I want, I want to drop shadow on this so I can see the lettering over here on top of the frame. So we'll do a layer style for that. Go up to Layer and Layer Style, Style Settings. We'll do a drop shadow. There we go. I'm going to bring the opacity all the way to the top. And we'll adjust our distance right there. You can kind of see it showing in right down there. I'm going to move the lighting angle over to the left a little bit here, about 122. I kind of like 122. 
So that kind of puts the lighting up there. Get a little drop shadow in behind. That looks good. It's a little different from where I had it on my original sample. I think this is a little nicer looking. I'm going to put it right about there, I think. And let's tweak the Santa just a little bit down. Right about there. And there we go. Little Christmas card in here where you can insert any image you want on this. We're using for Baby's First Christmas, but whatever you want, your favorite pet, your favorite person, whatever you want to do, just drop it in like that. And there we go. So it's kind of a uh, two for one here. Little, little, little masking in there. We put a square picture or a rectangular picture into a circular frame. Kind of fun. Made some adjustments on the values of our tree behind on the Santa. And of course some text. Last thing you do, as always, you take a look at this and see are you really happy with this? I think I can go a little bit brighter on that green back there. So here's our layer copy. Go to the layer right above that. That's the control for that. Double click on the icon. That brings it back up again. I'll just bring the saturation up just a little more. Not much. Just because this is so bright in here, I can get a little more saturation on that. I think Santa is about as far as we can push him. But there we go. Let's close that down. And there it is. Let me just expand this a little bit. I'll float this image up here. And we'll pull that down and zoom in a little bit. And there we go. Bringing up the size. May want to try to sharpen up Santa just a touch. Looks like he's a little bit soft focus. Let's go here to the Santa layer. And let's do a filter. And let's just actually let's go over here to enhance. And let's do adjust sharpness on this. A little adjust sharpness right there. And I'll back out of test so we can find our Santa. There he is. And let's try preview without and on. A little more sharpness. I think that works out pretty well. I can see it right over here. Kind of sharpens the look ups. There we go. Just a little 220% on that using the adjust sharpness from the enhance menu. Choose OK. And there we go. There's our Santa as well. Kind of fits the sharpness of this image or illustration right there. So there it is. That's how to do a nice little custom Christmas card. Drop in whatever picture you want on that. And as you can see, pretty fast, pretty easy to do. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can.